Hello everyone, it's Dr. David. Did you miss me? Of course you did. Well, today you're going to learn how to reconstitute a powdered antibiotic using a 0.9 normal saline 100 ml bag. You don't wanna miss it. Now, before medication administration, what do you have to do? Make sure you're checking those medication orders and you're definitely performing hand hygiene and do not forget to review the rights of medication administration. What are those rights? One of the recommendations to reduce medication errors and harm to your patients is to use the six rights of safe medication administration, which are right patient. Remember to ask the patient their first and last name, and you have to go by two identifiers, so ask for their date of birth. And look at the order and see if it matches that patient. The second one is right medication. Does the medication label match the order? Be very vigilant with look-alike and sound-alike medications. The right dose. Does the strength and dosage match the order? Is the order supposed to be half, whole, or multiple tablets? For example, if the medication order is for metoprolol 25 milligrams and you only have 50 milligram tablets, you know that that medication has to be scored. The right time. Does the administration time match the order? Before administering, for example, a PRN medication, which is an as-needed medication, ensure specified time interval has passed. The right route. Does the route match the order? Can this be crushed or mixed in other substances? Right documentation. Document immediately after the medication is administered, because remember, if it is not documented, it is not done. So here we have an antibiotic that is in powdered form and it's supposed to be reconstituted with 100 ml bag of 0.9 normal saline. This one is a little bit different because obviously we cannot infuse this powder in the patient. So we have to break a seal that's located right here and bring some of the 0.9 normal saline liquid into this vial. Before you do that though, you wanna make sure that you are looking at the liquid that's in this bag, even if it is 0.9 normal saline, to see one, the expiration date. Is there any sediment inside of the bag? Is there a different color? It's supposed to be clear. Basically, the integrity of the bag must be checked before we do any reconstitution, because if any of that is not how it's supposed to be, then we cannot use this IV fluid bag. Then we always wanna make sure that we have the right patient, that we have the right dose, and all of the information that's pertinent to this medication administration. So once those things are checked, then you're going to crack the seal. Okay. You're going to squeeze some of this fluid into the vial, like so and then you're going to shake it until it has dissolved. You may want to squeeze a little more. And once you see that everything is dissolved, it still has a little bit there, so I'm going to squeeze a little bit more of the saline in. Once you see that it has dissolved, you're going to turn the bag around and you're going to squeeze and the liquid's gonna come in to the bag. And at that point, you have medication that has been mixed. And it should look just like that, and nothing should be in the vial. If, like in this case, there's still a little bit, you can squeeze some more of that saline in there to see if you can get that little bit of medication. And that's as much as you're gonna get. You turn it around, you squeeze, and it's just gonna go back in the bag. And then you are ready to connect this to tubing. Did you like the video? Well, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share it with your friends, and coworkers, nursing students, whoever you know. And don't forget to put your comments down below. And follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Bye.